Hey, welcome back to Newcastle Central and a video that I've put off doing for a long time. A few people have reached out recently just to check in, make sure that I'm still here. It's been a long time since we had any updates. The reason for that is because I've known what's coming, um, and that is that unfortunately, fortunately, uh, we are going to be moving, and it's not a little move. If you've been with the channel for a while, when I first started building Newcastle Central three or four years ago, it was somewhat designed so that it could move, that I could cut tracks at the north and south end uh, and kind of move out as one very big board into a truck. Um, the expectation there was that it would be a bit of a short move, <laughs> that uh, you know we'd be going five, ten minutes down the road maybe, something like that, half an hour at the most, and unfortunately just the last year and a half, two years, has been hard for a lot of people being away from family, not being able to see family, even if you're close, and especially here in the Seattle area, none of our family is around. Um, all my wife's family is in the Midwest, all of mine obviously is back in England. And so at the start of the year, we kind of came to this realization that it was probably time to move back to the Midwest. Um, the kids are starting to get a little bit older, starting to miss grandparents, they've got more stuff going on at school, activities after school, and we kind of want grandparents to be there to see that. Uh, and holidays, birthdays, things like that get very tough, mostly by ourselves, especially when we haven't been able to travel a great deal, and then have lost family members and elderly elderly parents that are needing more time and, and, and support and stuff like that. So for various reasons, anyway, we, <laughs> we are moving. So that was why uh, at the start of the year I kind of put a stop on activity here um, knowing that anything I did was was gonna end up being wasted and I kind of procrastinated and procrastinated in in terms of actually coming out here and doing anything and starting to take it apart um, I have gone back and forth on whether I do still <laughs> try and take it out in one piece and move it we're talking a long move we're talking 1600 miles um, I actually did the drive last weekend to move um, some other big stuff that, that uh, I had in the house. And it was um, over 24 hours of driving. It's a long way to go. And to try and move something like this, that kind of a distance, um, the moving company would really struggle. They would wander in a, in a, in a crate um, so that they didn't risk damage. And honestly, even if... Uh, even if I did that, I would worry that um, signals and things like that would get would get bumped out of place. Um, the other part that I thought of, Newcastle Central has always been a compromise in terms of space. Model railroads always are a compromise in terms of space. And uh, so the train shed here is a little over 10 feet by 10 feet, 10 and a half, 10 and a half feet, something like that. Um, and so the, the station itself was constrained into that space, and I think I did a pretty darn good job <laughs> with the space that I had. I can get a, a 6 plus 2 HST, like the class 43 that's kind of hanging out just out of view here. Or I could do like a class, uh, yeah, class 47, and that's got six coaches on it as well. And, and so for the most part, it worked. Um, you know, there were things that I would like to have done differently, I would like to have had more space, I would like to have had more platforms where those HSTs could have come in, but otherwise everything was really working pretty good, especially once they'd figured out some of the electrical niggles. Um, I was pretty pretty optimistic as to how things were going, uh, you know, with this first station build as well, the platform uh, station building build, but even if I moved this, the new space that you want to have, uh, it's a house with a basement, which is pretty common in a lot of places in the U.S., not out here in the Pacific Northwest in the Seattle area, so we didn't have a basement, but the new house will. And um, part of part of the agreement that I've got with, with the wife is that that basement is basically for trends. So much, much bigger space. Um, we were out there, like I said, last weekend, and, and standing in there, it was was a little overwhelming in general with, with home construction, but uh, the basement space was 
somewhere in the order of 15 feet by 40 feet. Um, don't make me do math for the UK people. Um, what, uh, what's that? That's like, uh, I don't know, five meters by, goodness, see, I'm really bad at math, um, by quite a bit. Anyway, um, so much, 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 much bigger space. And so even if I moved Newcastle Central as it is out there, it's like, well, I've got so much more space. I, I would want to extend the, the platforms. I would want to extend the station buildings. There's, there's so much more that I could do. So I'm going to take it apart. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to take it apart as carefully as I can. I don't think I'm going to film this because uh, it's not it's not really something that I want to be doing anyway, and so I certainly don't want to be dealing with filming it. But I am going to try and take it apart as carefully as I can. Um, cut the the wires for all of the, the signals as long as I can so that I can resolder, I could resolder. Um, all of the point motors that I have underneath, they're all, remember they're all DCC control, I can, I can take those out and reuse a lot of that. And then we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to rebuild Newcastle Central as it is. Um, I've got some some ideas of being able to do a pretty large end scale layout because of the additional space that it would have. I really like running long passenger trains and long freight trains and so um, I could do it in double O or HO um, and so I, I, I kind of think back and forth with one of my friends what, what might end up happening is that the majority of, of the space would be for an end scale layout, um, North American rolling stock. Most of what you've seen, like on the, the T track stuff, so Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Milwaukee Road, uh, Spokane, Portland, Seattle, a lot of the American railroads that came up in the Pacific Northwest and Washington State. Um, there's a teaser the crazy plan is to actually go from Spokane to Seattle, um, show the mountain passes for all three of the railroads, and also then show the SPNS running down the Columbia Gorge into Portland. So it would be a, a multi-deck layout um, that would wind its way around. Um, when we've drawn it out, um, it's probably way overly ambitious, so we'll see. Um, but Newcastle Central may still um, make a recovery, um, may well rebuild in that bigger space, uh, just as a single deck layout. I've also looked at doing um, TMD, more like uh, just a shelf. Kind of like what you see at some of the shows, where it would be something like 12 feet long, so 2 feet And I could still have a lot of things like Class 47s, um, Class 37s, DMUs moving around. Um, and then I might uh, do like kind of a static display thing, main lines on the back, where I could still put uh, a couple of the HST units that I have. Um, main thing is that I don't want to kind of stretch myself too far. Um, so we'll see. There's a lot of possibilities where, you know, now that I've figured out the track plan for Newcastle Central, I've got wiring, I've got signals, I've got all these kind of things, I've got all the experience from building this, that it would still be an effort to redo it, but um, version 2 could well be a lot better. There's a few channels that have done similar over the years, and the second version, you know, you learn from, not the mistakes, but you learn from the constraints, and, and you learn new techniques along the way. Um, so we're going to move right around Christmas time I'm going to start taking this apart now it's the middle of October <laughs> it may take a while um, and uh, once we get settled in and once we get the basement ready then I can share some updates uh, if I keep going with Newcastle Central I'll share some updates there uh, I might spin up a new channel for what could become this crazy multi-deck layout for the Pacific Northwest Railroads. Um, so I think it will be fun. I think it would be a good mix. I could then run stuff from the 1950s and 60s like I have American Rolling Stock, and I could also run more modern stuff from BNSF, Union Pacific. Again, the kind of stuff you've seen on T-Track, um, but then still have hopefully some kind of, of layout, or at least some kind of track that I could still run all of this double O gauge rolling stock on some of the actual rolling stock that I have as well so 
Thanks for watching and following along the last three or four years. Hopefully I'm back in some form. Um, might be a while. <laughs> might be another six or twelve months. Um, it has meant a lot to have people kind of supporting and offering suggestions and ideas and different tips and tricks and coming in with a whole bunch of different things on the history of Newcastle Station and, and, and what have you. So, um, thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.